Hello beautiful people of the world, today I am coming at you with another video and this one is going to be my ultimate guide to Port Macquarie and Port Stevens. So before I start this video off, I just want to say happy 2019 you guys. In general, I'm so sorry, I literally only just posted one video in January. January 2019 has been the best month but it's also been really hectic. I've just been out a lot non-stop recently and a lot of stuff has just been going on. I do apologize for not uploading, but I have amazing, amazing plans for this year. So without further ado, let's continue on to this video. Hey guys, I hope that you will enjoy this vlog. So I'm gonna be giving you guys tips on time as well as affordability because we all know that time is money and money is time and both are very important and everything in between including my past mistakes. On him. Hey guys, today we are driving to Port Macquarie. Do y'all see this traffic? First of all, driving to Port Macquarie took a really super duper long time. Six hours to be exact. So it is like 2.5 hours out of like five stopped over to have coffee. If you could avoid going over the weekend or over the public holidays, that would be great. Oh my god. It's 3.36 and we got to Port Macquarie now. Don't know why that took six hours. Another really helpful tip is to maybe double check your Airbnb and double check the dates because apparently we were meant to go on the 29th of December and I just felt like, you know what, why not come there a day early? I realized that I booked the motel for the 29th of December. Harborside, Crescent and then turn right again. I'm on 1% but really quickly we just got out we're trying to find the motel and we're at this amazing spot right now the first beach that we went to was a rocky beach lookout and that beach is absolutely stunning out of all of the beaches at Port Macquarie this is definitely my second favorite it was just like a random find so literally no one was there no one knew about it the water was amazing and then you know in the back of my head I was like oh I don't have a motel still so you know let's try to find one While we were going all around trying to find a motel, we stumbled across Lighthouse Beach. I am like in a wraps around. This is absolutely freaking amazing. This is the ultimate tourist attraction for Port Macquarie. So if you're ever in Port Macquarie, make sure to check this baby out. Now our adventures did not stop there, but you know, in the back of my head, I still had that little anxious thought of, there's, there's nothing we can do about our accommodation situation, so what the hell are we gonna do? Basically, we are homeless for a night because all the vacancies got filled up and it's pretty windy, so I have to put my hands up sometimes. <laughs> Day one has been wrapped up and we actually found a place to stay. It was Stan's car. It was fine. Just probably learn from my mistakes. Day two, we woke up, went straight to a beach. Lighthouse Beach. We had to go back there again. This time, not from the point of where the lighthouse was. Go downstairs, park around the area where it's the actual coast. Yeah. We are at the lighthouse beach. Okay, so basically we slept in the car, had a good sleep, and we went to a cafe, went to the lighthouse beach. Next beach, Flynn's Beach, make sure to check it out. It was actually super nice. The water was on another level. I should become like a beach critic. I just had a swim, so nice and refreshing. The weather is like 30. Degrees. And then we went to Shelly Beach. Port Macquarie is a pretty small area, so all of these beaches are within like driving reach of each other. So to be completely honest with you here, Shelly Beach wasn't my complete and utter favorite. There were beach turkeys running around, which was pretty awesome. We then kind of hiked up to Harry's Lookout. If you just follow the path, 
of least resistance, you will come to find Harry's lookout, which is pretty freaking bomb. Hey guys, so today was an eventful day. We went to White House Beach, Flint's Beach. Now we're at Shelly Beach, just walking around, bushwalking. I feel like we've checked off everything basically. So completely affordable, you can totally definitely get away for a weekend for pretty much very, very cheap. After hitting three beaches on the second day of our Port Macquarie trip, we hit the shops. Everything that has been closed down in Sydney is still really much relevant in Port Macquarie. It really did feel like I was going back in time and I was like 10 years old. They have a fucking sanity here. And they have, wait for it, wait for it, so fucking fresh. To be completely honest with you, two days is probably way too long for Pomacore. It is a tiny little area, but that being said, it was still really fun. The other point is cafes there aren't, you know, Instagram worthy as per se, but still a really cute, relaxing family vibe. Time for Port Stevens. I am so excited. And um, we've checked out and gonna have some food and drive to Port Stevens. We are now driving to Port Stevens from Port Macquarie. We woke up, checked out. The drive there took two hours and it was amazing. Except for the part where we stopped over in the middle of nowhere in between Port Macquarie and Port Stevens, got some iced coffee and it tasted like literal milk. And it's freaking nasty. Another travel hack is if you take a perfume sample from stores, you can just collect them, stash them, be like, oh, when I go overseas or when I go on a trip, I can definitely use these. So without going to the Airbnb or anything, we drove straight to Anna's Bay. So be really careful when you're booking with companies. If you're going camel riding and then you're going sand dune boarding and then you're going quad biking, I would suggest booking it all in one company. There is like vans and vans of just like different companies like offering their services. First of all, we really wanted to sandboard and then we also really wanted to quad bike. I booked from two different companies. So I booked the sandboarding at Anna's Bay. Take a look. So we are literally in the desert. We just parked, so not exactly. And it's really freaking hot. How much would you say, like 36 degrees? It's supposed to be too bad. And there's literal camels here. Oh my God, it literally feels like a desert. <laughs> Four wheel drive to the sand dunes. So, if you guys ever want to do this, there is like a 10 minute four wheel drive. And another tip, make sure to go when it's at least, you know, 20, 25, 30, I guess is okay. But it was literally 37, 38 degrees. And when we got to Anna's Bay, they were like, I would suggest coming back at 5 p.m. You know, we are still open until 6. So you are more than welcome to do that. And if you guys don't know Port Stevens or Sand Dunes, this is basically going into the desert at 40 degree heat. The one upside is that there weren't many people there. We had more service. When you get to Anna's Bay, they take you on a four wheel drive. You're allowed to go for as long as you want. There's someone sitting next to you. They can show you how to sandboard down. It's really easy. So from Anna's Bay, we drove 20 minutes to Quad Bike King Tours. It's literally 38 degrees Celsius. Now we're driving to the Quad Bike place and we're going to the Sand Dunes again, but from another tour company, which is 20 minutes away. It's has at four and it's 3.50 and it's like traffic. I'm trying to fit everything all in to one. 
freaking stressful. One number one tip is make sure to take your phone to take photos. I mean, I don't know if it's more of a tip for myself in the future, but I'm someone that really listens to people. And like the lady when we were signing off the contract of like, yes, I consent, whatever. She's like, don't take your phones. Like phones are not allowed. You get to the van and then they drive you about 15 minutes to the sand dunes and everyone starts whipping out their phone and starts taking photos. And I'm like, why would I not get my Kendall Jenner on a quad bike moment and put it on Instagram? I'm still salty about that. I would suggest you go for 40 minutes. 40 minutes is more than enough. After the 40 minutes, to be completely honest with you, I was kind of getting tired because we took the sand pit tour which is the most basic one which is the cheapest one and it's literally just like on a sand pit for an hour i would highly recommend go a little bit cheaper opt out and take this tour That is shame. There's like McDonald's in the back. Let me just hide that, Maccas. All right. Basically, I am monk. Cows! <laughs> Cows! <laughs> oh my god, I look so good. Have you seen that meme where it's like, it's are you a human if you don't commentate of like horses and cows? I'm like. <laughs> We went quad biking, but I didn't bring my camera because they just told us to leave everything. Quad biking was fun. We went ham. So go check out the quad bike. I'll put it while I'm editing here. No, the name of it. It's really good. And now we're just checking into our Airbnb. Just, just fucking go to the dunes and do whatever. Yeah, just fucking go to the dunes. If you're going to Port Stevens, obviously. We basically just checked into our Airbnb after that point and collapsed. 31st of December, a day for reflection and a lot of beach hopping. Good morning guys! Today is New Year's Eve, but daytime. <laughs> So first of all, we went to Fingal Bay Beach. Let me tell you, bitch. It was number one highly rated on TripAdvisor, so you know that I just had to go there straight away. We are just at this cute Long Beach Cafe, Long Boat Cafe, and then we're going to go to Fingal Bay Beach. Okay, so we're at was a box beach. TBH box beach wasn't the best beach. It was pretty basic, but it was really easy because you just parked right at front and then you just walked right in and it was empty and there were like cliffs. It was pretty cool as well, but I wouldn't recommend it. Literally went to box beach, saw it and then went right back. We were like, nope, we got so many other beaches. Wreck Beach. Now Wreck Beach was pretty beautiful, but much like Box Beach, it was pretty basic and what's worse is that it took you longer to actually get there. It took us around five or six minutes to walk down. It was kind of like a little bit of a hike. Third Beach, Wreck Beach. So this is Wreck Beach. Pretty stunning, but not one of the ones that I would recommend to do on your first day or if you're running out of time. It's like a 300 meter hike sort of walk to the beach as well so keep that in mind. Y'all know I had to get a cider after that and it was near and close to New Year's Eve so I was in the celebratory mood and we had two more beaches to go to before we went back to get ready for the night. Bagnalls Bay Beach Reserve, is that what it's called? Why are the names always so long? So Bagnalls Beach Reserve was pretty lit. Hey guys so we are at a beach near Dutchman's Beach Reserve called 
Bagnalls Beach. There were swans there. It was really cute. The water was so warm and it's one of the beaches that didn't have any waves. So I was really, really enjoying that. Literally one minute walk from there is Dutchman's Beach. It was absolutely stunting. The widest water, the chillest vibes. It was absolutely great. It's like 4 p.m. now. This is Dutchman's Goodbye, beach. So my two top beach recommendations for Fort Stevens is Fingal Bay Beach and Dutchman's Bay. 100%, if you only have one day at Port Stevens, like throw everything else out in the bin and go to Anna's Bay. There's also a beach right there as well that I didn't get to check out, but it looked absolutely stunting, especially because when you turn around, there's little sand dunes behind you. So make sure to check that out as well. Happy New Year. It is now the 1st of January, 2019. I cannot believe it. I cannot wrap my head around it. It is insane how quick time goes. The last time we saw each other, I was at the beach. We went back home at like 6 p.m. and I started getting ready. And then I had a lovely time at Port Stevens for New Year's. It was amazing. We drove to Nelson Bay. We missed the fireworks. We were walking around looking at the storms and stuff. And then we went driving around. And then we went back home and we just had like a chill like Port Stevens like, fireworks celebration for New Year's Eve. 2019 has come. I'm so grateful to, for 2018. I'm so excited. And I know that 2019 is going to kick 2018 in the balls and just make it that much better so we couldn't help ourselves and we went to fingles bay beach again because bitch bitch it was something truly magical the walk takes about 20 minutes to and from it is a very long beach but i really recommend it the views are absolutely spectacular so we are at this cafe We are back at Fingal Bay Beach and it is incredible. We're just taking about a kilometer walk to the part where the two oceans interconnect. Just walking and reflecting on 2018. Then, towards the very end, we were like, hmm, why don't we go to Shark Island? Now, this beach is really interesting because two coastlines meet each other and there's a sandbank in between and sometimes when there's low tide or high tide it depends sometimes it connects and disconnects now this time we were lucky enough for it to be connected so we could walk over to shark island sand spit can be dangerous Holy shit, this is kind of scary. First of all, bitch, this island should be called freaking Spider Island, not Shark Island. There are a lot of spiders, a lot of spiders, a lot of them. One spider web on one trail. Oh, oh my god, it feels like literally it's in my mouth. That guy's climbing, look. Oh, you're nasty. It literally feels like they're going to jump onto my face. Look at that, but the thing is, every morning they start up new spider webs. Happy 2019! <laughs> Here's the thing every single person that was walking past didn't notice. Like, they just did not look up, they were just walking on their merry way. Okay, so after like 20 million spiders and freaking everything, we made it to the lighthouse. I think it's big finds if you take it. I think it's big finds. Oh my god. What? I thought I sat on a cactus. Oh, it's fucking moving stars. Okay, shit. Okay. Oh, it's dropping down, it's dropping down. We're literally. Ah! Stop! Oh, how bad is that one? Literally have entered into the. Oh, wow, we walked the... past all this without realizing there's just potential into, danger. Into the gauntlet of just spiders. We drove back to Sydney that day and it took about four hours. Please make sure you thumbs up this video if you did enjoy it. I really hope that you do check out Port Stevens, the Port Macquarie. Highly, highly recommend that. Down below, let me know if you did go to any of these places and let me know what your favorite part about it was. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. 
we are back from the beach. That was insane. It's about 3 p.m. now and we are driving back to Sydney. I'm so excited for 2019 and everything that's in store for YouTube. I'm going to work so much harder on YouTube and I have so many plans. I hope you had the best Christmas and the best New Year's and please, please, please just be grateful and appreciative of everything that happened in 2018. Transfer that onto the new year and have the best freaking year yet. Oh, fuck, boy!